What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we are going to talk about all the Detective Pikachu cards that just got announced today. Um, and we're going to look at all of them. They all have very interesting arts. The animation of that movie is just very different. Uh, but to start, I do want to uh, give a quick warning for, you know, past couple of videos we've been doing some of these uh, ultra shiny boxes for specifically the Korean version uh, and I do want to throw a quick caution into the wind uh, in regards to the quality of the card so here we have two our uh, two of the SSRs that we pulled in uh, shiny Altaria and shiny uh, Gardevoir GX uh, so one thing I want to make everyone aware of is that these cards warp like crazy look at that I feel like I've never seen um, English cards warp this much and this is actually after only being out of the pack for like a couple days. Um, so yes, like I didn't sleeve these right away just because I happen to be out of sleeves. I have more coming in, uh, but I feel like this amount of warping is crazy. Uh, so the SR cards, they don't have too much. The GXs have significantly more, but this one is by far the worst. So yep, just want to throw that out there, guys. Um, just a problem that I've been seeing. All right, so let's move on to the Detective Pikachu cards. So let me just change my screen real quick. Uh, oh, quick announcement. Uh, you can actually see right here, there, there is like a new mic. Uh, so hopefully this includes, uh, improves the sound quality uh, for the videos. Let me know if you notice any difference. All right, so for the first card, we have Bulbasaur. Actually, real quick, so pokebeach.com, that's where I kind of get the latest news, uh, in case you're curious. So there's 18 cards in this new set. I didn't realize there's so few and I've uh, ordered like a couple, some of the um, boxes that will be coming in uh, that will be released soon. And so ordered a bunch of them. I didn't realize there's only 18 cards to collect. And so the art, to be honest, I'm not crazy about the animation for this movie. So a lot of the art I'm not too crazy about. And to be honest, a lot of these cards, um, maybe it's not designed for competitive play, but they all sound pretty bad. So we'll start with Bulbasaur. Um, this actually, this art I'm not uh, is is pretty cool. I think Bulbasaur looks pretty cute. Um, however, the attack: find a friend, uh, search your deck for a leaf or a grass type, reveal it, and put in your hand. Shuffle your deck. Sounds pretty bad, but uh, Ludicolo. Uh, so table service. Once during your turn, you may heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Um, that's actually pretty cool. It doesn't mention that it needs to be in the active, so it can be on the bench. So actually, that one, I will say, does sound pretty cool. Um, and then its attack does allow it to kind of like run away if they kind of like Guzma it out or something. Uh, so assuming it survives the attack, which it probably won't, only has 140 HP for stage 2. Uh, but if it does, it does have a way to kind of like run away. Uh, in addition to its retreat cost, which is, so it's the same as the attack. All right, Moral, um, act back to Pokemon is asleep, 10 damage. I mean, maybe like 10 years ago, that might have been okay. All right, Charmander. Uh, Charmander he looks very sh short. I, I guess I imagine a Charmander being taller than like, I'm guessing this is a kid, like up to his knees. Um, so, rec Reckless Charge, um, 20 damage, does 10 damage to herself. Yeah, these feel like, uh, in, from the... From the year 2000 kind of attacks all right charizard this one actually is a little bit better um this the again i'm not too crazy about the animation it's almost like these things are like almost too real uh so it's kind of strange um but for this charizard uh he does look pretty cool just a little bit too real for me too reptile like um, but for the actual attacks, 180 HP, uh, slash 470, and then Wild Tackle, which does 50 damage to herself. This one actually doesn't sound too bad. Uh, definitely not viable in today's meta, but at least it seems about in the ballpark for today's standards. Arcanine, this Arcanine I think looks pretty cool. Um, so, safe security guard as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon. All your Pokemon take 30 less damage, so it's almost like stack attack at GX, uh, but three of them combined in one one Pokemon. Um, however, this guy needs to be your active, and in today's meta, he won't be active for very long. Sharp Fang for um, one fire, one DCE, does 90 damage. Not that strong. And, and you know, maybe I'm being a little too critical um, just because, you know, maybe these cards aren't meant for the meta where like a lot of promotional cards aren't. Um, but I think the way the reason I'm kind of critiquing in that fashion is because of the art, I'm just not too crazy about it. Uh, so we have the Psyduck. I feel like his bill is uh, or like for the, the mouth is huge. <laughs> um, so Psyduck, 
Panic. Uh, 10 damage. Pokemon is now confused. Wait, was this? This Pokemon is now confused. It's very Psyduck-like. Um, Magikarp holds <laughs> still heal, heal 10 damage. Like, what is the point of this thing? Actually, that one's pretty true to, like, the whole Magikarp lore, too, I guess. So, Greninja. Um, this art, I'm a little bit more favorable for. Evasion Jits uh, Jitsu. It's pretty cool, too. When you take damage, by attacks, flip a coin if heads prevent that damage. And then Furious Shrikens, uh, for two water, does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. That means you can't do it to 100 damage to a single one. Um, so, I feel like this guy's not that good, but he's better than most of these. Detective Pikachu. Here he is, 90 HP. Pretty good. And I do like this art. I think he looks very cute. Um, Scout. Your opponent reveals their hand. Not very useful. Surprise attack. 80 damage for 3, d three colorless energy. Uh, flip a coin if Tails' attack does nothing. Alright, Mr. Mime. This art is, like, scary to me. This Everything about Mr. Mime is a little bit on the disturbing side for me. Uh, so, Pantomime. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto the bench during your turn, you may switch one of your face down prize cards with the top of your deck. Um, not sure why. Like, how does this do anything for you? Uh, so then juggling for a psychic and a colorless energy flip four coins and does 20 damage for each heads. Again, I feel like this is like early 2000 kind of attacks. Mewtwo! Mewtwo looks very mean. He looks very evil, but all in all, I think he's pretty cool. So, Psychic and then one colorless. Psyjack, choose one of your opponent active Pokemon's... Opponent's active Pokemon attacks. They can't use it. That's actually pretty good. Some Pokemon only have one attack. Interesting. Uh, GXs, sometimes they only have two, and one of them is that GX attack. And then, Break, Burn for 130. Discard two Psychic Energy. That's too high of a price <laughs> I like this my champ he looks like he's like a is he a traffic um, like a traffic police or something oh directing traffic for one fighting energy look at the top five cards of your deck and put them back in any order uh, that's a waste of a turn to be honest cross chop for two fighting 80 plus flip a coin if heads this attack does 60 more damage that seems about right that seems about the appropriate strength for where we are in the meta Jigglypuff, 60 HP, 1 Fairy Energy for heal 10, 10 damage to each of your, po each of your Pokemon. No. Snubble. Um, not, not a bad art. Rough play, flip a coin, 10 damage, uh, 30 more if you get heads. Lickitung. <laughs> this is another Pokemon that I feel like um, as a cartoon, as an animation, uh, you know, alright. But then when you see it, like a real life one, that this one, Mr. Mime, is like Whoa, hold up. All right, continuous lick, 20x. Flip a coin until you get tails, and we do 20 damage per heads. Ditto for 60 HP for one colorless. Copy anything. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attack and use it as this attack. If this Pokemon doesn't have the necessary energy to use that attack, this attack does nothing. I feel like this was supposed to also say something along the lines of you don't need to have the correct energy, you just have to have the right amount. Otherwise, this thing sounds pretty bad if you have a water deck or whatever and you happen to be fighting fire deck, what are you supposed to do? Not At that point, maybe you can't even use any attacks. And last card is Slay King. Um, actually, this is kind of what I expected. Like if they were to create uh, a more realistic version of Slay King, this is kind of what I had in mind. Uh, so pitch for two double colorless energies. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. This guy is actually pretty good. I feel like he's probably the strongest one, to be honest. And so there you guys have it. That's all 18 of the Detective Pikachu cards. Again, I get all my information from PokeBeach.com. So um, yeah, just something to have. Uh, good to have bookmarked, by the way. Um, other than that, there you guys have it. That's for today's video. If you did enjoy the content or if you're excited for these Detective Pikachu cards, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, uh, subscribe for future content, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.